acting silly. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, Malikim. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High, Elohim, Yahuwah. Do it, son, Yahusha. It's your brother, Uncle K. You already know what time it is, and you already know how we coming. Before we get into the video, like the video, comment down below, share the content, turn on your post notifications as well. And if you're not a supporter, become a supporter right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Now let's get into the discussion at hand. Gentlemen, it's nothing like being a masculine man, I'm telling you. It's nothing like being a masculine man. It's nothing like being a man that's in shape, spiritually, mentally, and physically. You know, a man that got that self-love about himself, a man that got self-control, a man that got discipline in all areas of his life, and he's still, he's still getting more discipline. He's sharpening everything that he's practicing. He's sharpening his technique. He's sharpening that iron every time he step outside in the field. You know what I'm saying? He's looking good, feeling good, smelling good. And that's real talk. Out here getting his vitamin D. Out here popping out with the delts. Side delts. Rear delts out here popping out. That's real talk, man. It's a beautiful thing when women are actually feeling this masculine energy. It's something that they can't run from. It's something that they pull to. It's something that just makes them want to gravitate to you. And it's nothing like having that good feminine energy embracing you. We just don't embrace the bosom of a woman. And we don't embrace the beauty of a woman too. But we definitely appreciate when they come across a man. They got that potential. They got that power. And they just appreciate your energy and your presence. One thing y'all gentlemen gonna realize is when y'all got this energy, when y'all holding on for their life, when y'all doing the right things, when y'all circulating this energy, when y'all transmuting your energy, when y'all meditating and bringing that energy around your entire body, women gonna feel that. Women gonna come close to you. When you're training in the gym, they're gonna be checking you. They're gonna be looking for you. And sometimes they may even come knee close, real close. I find it kind of funny when women feel like they need no help. You know, they trying to carry some heavy weight. They know they're struggling, but trying to be independent. But at the same time, they feeling you. They feeling that strength coming off of you. And it's something that they can't resist. And every man must stop running from the woman in order for him to tap in to much a, a heightened spiritual awareness, a heightened level of masculinity. You gotta stop running from the woman. You gotta embrace her energy because it feels good when a masculine and a feminine is next to each other. You feel that spiral of energy like it's in a pot and it's just festering, boiling up. It feels good. It actually increases your energy. It actually increases it. Like how when men see beautiful women and they working out, their testosterone increase by a little bit. It's kind of like that, but we got self-control. We know our testosterone is through the roof. And that's real talk. You know, I'm in the gym hitting these cables, doing some chest flies. Had my shirt off dripping in sweat. Shorty walked right next to me. Got right on the dip bar, right in front of my face, like literally right here. Ass all in my face while I'm hitting my flies. I'm like, hit my flies. Her ass right in my face. And I ain't even moving. I'm chilling. I'm like, yeah, she just want to be next to me. She want me to feel her energy. She want me to feel it. She want me to, she want me to smack it. She want me to put her in her place. We got self-control though, but like I said, you know, they like coming around the masculine men. I'm telling you, the more you hold on to this energy, the more things are going to just work in your favor. You see, you holding on to life itself. 
your sperm starts maturing. So the woman, her body is naturally going to react to it. Her body naturally, she naturally want to give you her body. She naturally wants you to just take it. It gets to that level. But gentlemen, y'all got to have discernment. Y'all just can't be up here taking on any female out here. You got to test the Ruwak by the Ruwak. But at the same time, you must understand that the man that's not running from the woman, he's only just amplifying his energy because he know he the masculine threat walking in the building. And it's sad to say this, but a lot of men envy you too because they see the type of attraction you get in, especially when you come into these environments, these sexual, lustful environments, especially the gym, and you getting your training on, you in there, you not even showing off too much. You just in there doing your thing. You're not wearing form-fitting clothing. You're just in there putting in that work. And I know these men, they see the women looking at me, it's all good. Men see the women looking at you too, it's all good, but we embracing that though, we soaking up that energy. We only increasing in our masculinity. But you got these dudes that when they see a beautiful woman, they act like they didn't see them. And then when they walk in by, you know, they break their neck and then look. They wasn't embracing it. You gotta lock that eye contact with her. You gotta lock in with her like, yeah, I see you. Yeah, you looking good, keep it up. Thank you for the energy. Thank you for the power up. Thank you. I appreciate that. As we living in times right now where the man has strayed so far away from masculinity that now he's more on a feminine, more on feminine time. He sees something that look good, but then he run off in the room and beat his dick. He can't get any pom pom. So he on the he on the websites. He on the OnlyFans. He on the Instagram model page, being his dick. Cause you don't want to be masculine. Stop being your dick and be masculine. For real. You got to get on point. You got to embrace it. You got to embrace the energy. High value. High energy, all praise to the most high. It's nothing like this. Nobody gonna tell you. Your father didn't tell you, your uncle didn't tell you, your brother never told you. He just said, go out and chase, go out and chase, go out and chase, seek validation, seek validation. He never told you, hold on to your strength, embrace that. Be strong, you got power, hold on. Let them come to you. Let them spark that conversation with you. You could, you could talk to shorty too, ask her how she doing, how her day doing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you gotta be focused, you gotta be focused. But it is a beautiful thing as well too, to converse with a woman too. It puts you in that different mindset, puts you in that different energy zone. It amplifies your energy. Like this gym that I go to, I go to this, I go to different locations. But I went to this Sprouts the day before yesterday to get a pack of walnuts. And Shorty was like, hey, you work out at 24, right? I was like, yeah, which one? She was like, the one over there on Atlantic. I was like, yeah, I'll be there sometimes. She's like, yeah, I see you. I seen you before. I was like, work. Like, that's what's up. And I mean, I said, hey, take care of yourself. Have a good day. Real talk. They watching you. They remember you. Because you got a presence. You got a presence about yourself that you leave that impression. You leave that good impression. It's something that they can't forget. That's why when you hold on to this energy and you get you get into new environments, you have new situations. People gonna remember you for how you presented yourself. People gonna remember the type of energy that you made them feel. And then when you go off and do something against the most high, and then you lose that energy, people gonna pick up on it and be like, yo, this dude is not the same. Something is off. He's off a little bit. I'm not feeling him how I was feeling him before. See, you gotta want this power. You gotta want this power bad, bro. 
You gotta want this power bad because this this power gonna lead to a lot of success, a lot of spiritual blessings, a lot of blessings all all over overall. You're gonna be a brand new man in a matter of 90 days. And just keep going higher and higher. When you make that drastic shift, your perspective starts shifting. Everything starts shifting around you. Your energy starts getting amplified. The Ruach starts increasing inside of you. The Most High starts showing you things. And the Most High is going to test you too. He's going he's gonna to check you. He's going to search your mind and your heart and see if you're really with it, if you're ready for this. You're going to see if you really want this masculinity. How bad you really want it. And you got to want it real bad, man. You got to want it real bad. But then, you, but you got to as well be at peace with it too. You can't really try too hard. Just be yourself and watch how you start unlocking who you truly were, what's supposed to be. Every man is supposed to be masculine. But a lot of men have departed from the ways. So congratulations to you for coming back to who you were supposed to be. And we know it's going to take time, but trust the process, man. Trust the process. The process is the most beautiful thing. It's like planting that seed and watching it grow. When you plant that seed, you watch it grow. When you hold on to that seed, your seed just grows. You start hanging a little more heavier. You start walking with a limp. You feel what I'm saying? You start walking with a limp. You start walking with a different type of quote unquote swag. You start smelling different. You start glowing different. You speak with that authority. You make the eggs move. You make the eggs shift. They want their eggs to get scrambled up. But we holding on for their life. We doing the right thing though. We know how detrimental this is for our health. And we know how important it is to be men. Because there's not a lot of men these days. Yeah, you can work a job. Yeah, you can pay bills. You can drive a car. You can have gold chains. You can have the nice clothes. You can have whatever. I threw on my gold chain today. I was feeling, I was feeling like I need to throw it on. Show off that royalty, you feel me? Sometimes you just got to be yourself. Because we royalty out here, man. You royalty. Move like a king. Act like a king. Speak like a king, man. You got that power. You get to a point where you're tired of letting it go. I want women to feel my energy. I want them to want my energy. I want them to come to me. I want them to feel me. I want, them, I want my energy to ooze in the whole room. I want dudes to realize that I'm the man in here. Cut me a check right now. Where the manager's at? I want to talk about a new item that I want to put on the menu. That's how you got to move out here, man. You got to be smooth with it. Smoother than butter. You got to be like olive oil out here. You got to be real smooth with it. Real smooth. Just be yourself. You know this energy is so electric. This energy is so bright. This energy is so strong. Sometimes it pushes people away. Sometimes people can't really look at you. But at the same time, they want to dose. They want to hit it at though. They just want to smell your sweat sometimes when you're training in the gym, you're going hard. You know, your pheromones just busting through your roof. They just want to come by and get a little smell. You know what I mean? They want to feel you. They want to feel that vibration. That's why y'all fellas got to get start getting into deep meditation, deep breathing. You start feeling your energy more. You start feeling that, that pressure that's coming off of you. You just got to sit by yourself and just breathe and just feel yourself. You're going to be like, whoa. 
No wonder, no wonder, no wonder the room is shaking when I come in here. No wonder all necks is breaking when I come through the spot. No wonder shorty coming next to me in the gym as I'm lifting these weights. No wonder these dudes got their head down. No wonder these dudes giving me looks like they hate me. <laughs> it's normal. You the man. You gotta know you the man. You gotta know you a king out here, man. You gotta know you got that power. You gotta stand firm out here, man. You know, get off the mattress. Get off the couch. Stop beating your dick, man. different type of time, man. You know, a whole different type of time. Whole different type of time. I know she felt that energy. I know she felt that. I felt her energy too. Strong. that strength she said I felt her energy jump that's what happens when you walk past these women you can feel them they jump a little bit boom I felt her presence I felt she was about to have an out of body experience cause everybody's too busy in the physical in this world so when you're spiritual got the Barak HaKadosh, man, the Holy Spirit, the set apart spirit, man. So when people so caught up in this physical, and you got that spiritual strength about you, trust and believe, you're going to make everybody move, man. You're going to feel it. And people that got good energy, you feel good. You feel good with it. Especially if you got a wife. Y'all came together and y'all want flesh. You come next to your lady. You take a deep breath. You feel her energy. It's to feel good. It's a breath of fresh air. When I grab my lady and I give her a hug, give her a little kiss, I feel I feel an increase. For real. Got to embrace that energy, gentlemen. Stop running from the pussy, man. Pussy is actually scared of you. And that's real talk, man. Shalom alaikum. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the most high Elohim, Yahuwah. Through his son, Yahushua. It's Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming. Make sure y'all like the video, share the content, comment down below. Turn on your post notifications too as well so you get notified every time I drop a video. If you're not a supporter, become a supporter right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Appreciate y'all for tuning into another video. Hope you'll have a real peaceful day.